outdoor unit is working pressure on the low side was a little low so I came and checked the indoor unit right now I'm holding this switch so it stays running but it's not running because the indoor fan is the problem looks like it is a x13 type motor communicating type motor so I need to diagnose and see and make sure that the board is outputting voltage to the motor if so the motors bad the boards not outputting what it needs to then the board could be bad all right let's check with the meter okay so on the schematic what are we gonna check we're gonna check the L and the N N is white goes to the neutral here on the control board the PCB and black goes up here this is note 15 inductor when used hmm. BL1 so we check from BL1 to neutral we should have 120 volts and then we check from the common to the cool because we're in the cool operation we would check from here to here if we were in the heat operation C to 3 we're going to check from C to 5 Okay, so it goes up here, cool and common. Should have 24 volts here and 120 volts here. If we don't, the board's bad. If we do, then the motor's bad. All right, one meter lead to the BL1 and then to the L2. I took those two wires off. That's the constant voltage that the motor will have, 120 volts. All right, we'll read that first. 121 volts L2 BL1 that's how you do it with one hand alrighty oh alright good deal I'm gonna still do that this is the other set of wires we need to check and if I can get a clear picture it says common and cool so that's what we need to check should have 24 volts. All right. All right, we got those two wires off. Common and cool. 27 volts. So we got a call from the board. We got the power the motor needs to run. So the motor's bad, not the board. All right, now I can put these wires back on. So, if it was in the heating operation, you do the same thing with the, but you check the black and the blue wire. So, these are the spares, they're not used. Uh, common, 24 volts. Uh, heat, cool, fan. These are the wires that are used, and each one's a different speed. All right. So if you ever wanna change the speed, you just switch one of these wires. Not this one of course but these swap any of these this is a 90 percent furnace 100,000 BTU 990 percent looks like 20 so 2000 CFM all right This one comes with the module already attached, so no need to order a module and a motor. Just say, I need an indoor motor. Unit's off now, but it was freezing up. You can see suction pressure, low side pressure 66, high side, these are standing pressure because the unit just went off. I had to put the door back on, so I opened up the switch on the furnace and it cut the power it'll start up in about five minutes but they need to go ahead and shut it off until we get the motor got the new motor all right all right let's set up shop and get this motor changed that suction pressure was super low and I didn't add any refrigerant 
I just simply came up here to check filters, airflow, because I know that low airflow will cause low suction pressure, and we found that the motor was bad. So I'm going to take this motor out, which is pretty simple. A couple screws that hold a bracket, and, uh, and the motor will just slide right out. and take my other motor out of the box here. Alright. Oh wow, built on bracket? No way. That is super convenient. Look at that. 120 volt motor. there's enough thermostat wire, we can just take this whole thing out. All right, first thing first. Oh, we don't need sandpaper because the shaft's not rusted. Lefty Lucy, righty tighty. All right. Now, all right. Taking the five sixteenths bit out from the three eighths bit in. All right. Those are the screws that hold the motor. Now, there's a ground wire that's quarter inch. Make sure you know exactly which way the wire's faced. We usually put a little scratch on the lower housing. All right. Old motor. Out. All right. New motor. doesn't get much easier than this, having your bracket already ready to go. That is awesome. I love it. Oh, where am I? Okay. We're missing two of these. Probably on the old motor. Yep, there's one. There's two. Put those in here. You gotta have them. Come up here and take a look at what I'm doing here. All right. This is not the right one. All right. You want to make sure it's lined up. All right. Motor's back in. Slide the wheel. Make sure it's even. Tighten the set screw back down. All right. Yes. Beautiful. Now old motor wires are still hooked up. That's okay. I'm going to leave it that way for a minute. All right, take a look inside. See, these are my little brackets. It's got a slide in there.
old motor. Right there. Oh, I forgot something. I forgot to hook up the ground wire. So I'll just hook it up right here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Take a look. See this ground wire? But there's a good spot right here. Boom! But it was up there. So. Alright, let me grab the quarter inch bit. And here's the ground wire going in. Beautiful. Now, see all my wires? See all my wires right here? Black, blue, green, red, orange, and yellow. Alright. you memorize that. All right. There is no black. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so black, blue, green, red, orange, and yellow. So I think that, no, 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 those go to, see, this is the neutral right here neutral and then this is the BL1 so that's where that goes we got neutral are you seeing this right here neutral BL1 and then we're gonna hook these up lower strapped in we need to look back at these wires and what we did here we're gonna look at the old motor and see what it says where is it at all right here it is all right so it says the green wire is the common and then you've got red orange blue yellow and grays the speed wires okay so that means probably if I was to guess, low speed is one, high speed is five, okay? How do we know for sure? Take off this panel. This is where we'll find the codes and the schematic. All right, so, oh, gray's cool. Yellow, spare, blue, okay. So we need to put our common will be green. Okay, so definitely refer to the manual for sure. And then I don't want this speed. If this is the low speed, I want some speed when my blower comes on. All right. And this gray wire can just go right here. All righty. Good deal. Now, let's power it up. All right. Blower should come on now. Beautiful. All right, problem's fixed. We'll go check the pressures now. Shouldn't have low suction anymore. Panel's back on. Blower's start, starting to come on again. Let's go check the outdoor unit. Come on. Let's go, boy. All right, unit is on. Let's check these pressures now. 126 and 262. It's 410A. Those pressures look a lot better than, I think it was like 50 or 60 on the suction. So... Problem solved. Let's get out of here. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Hit the like button, subscribe, and hit that bell before you leave. Ding! If you want more videos like this, check out my playlist, HVAC Tips for Technicians. And if you want my help, click the join button, become a member. Let me know in the comments. Say, I join. I'll give you my email, and that'll lead to contact with me. If you want me to consult and you need help with your project, go check out my membership levels. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad. And I'll keep you cool if you let.